if we use it, we use it. So now, get some on here. Tell everybody that there's uh, enough flux on the cover of the uh, flux jar to do our whole job that we need to do. That's how little that yeah, we end up actually using. Only time you're typically going to have a lot of trouble is when you're working with old, old pipes. And uh, even though uh, they might not look uh, real dirty, uh, uh, if they've been um, around for uh, uh, several years, uh, sitting uh, outside or <coughs> even inside, They'll build up an oxide layer that's hard to see and uh, might look like copper to you. But uh, it won't want to solder. <coughs> Got these all put together. Everything is in. Take our uh, pipe that we're going to uh, uh, connect the air up to. And we'll connect that to. Whenever we do a T joint, we want to go over all three sides of the T joint at the, almost uh, simultaneously, one right after the other. And uh, now that I have everything uh, uh, kind of put together, uh, I'm gonna uh, go over each of the joints while it's lying on the table here, in the area where I'm gonna be adding the solder. So uh, when, I, when it touches, uh, the pipe is going to be touching in a place that I've already fluxed twice. And uh, the more I rub it, the cleaner the pipe gets. 
right. Now I'll clear off my table. And especially the flux. I've had uh, where people accidentally melt through the plastic. So we're ready. Let's uh, fitting on, we can't dunk it in the water. Alright. Or maybe, maybe what I'll do so that people get to do that, let's cut the, let's cut the, uh, this fitting off. And we'll do it on this one. So I'm going to uh, cut it down low as close as I can to the fitting on the bottom and uh, whenever you've uh, soldered pipes together they become soft and uh, so we have to be real careful when we cut a, a pipe that's already been soldered because it'll be easier than regular copper pipe to crush it uh, not on purpose Right, accidentally. Nice and slow. Work it around. Yeah, I think uh, we're running low on those threaded fittings, so. I'm pretty sure we got 17 of them. So this uh, uh, is a little bit dirtier than brand new pipe. I'm gonna wanna clean this a little bit extra. Just wrapping the sandpaper around the pipe. And moving in a circle. Flux it up. Enough flux still on the brush that I don't even have to open up the flux uh, can. Give it a nice bit of rubbing. Work that acid. I'll take the brush and I'll get it again right where I'm going to be joining the two together. And now we'll be able to test this when we're done. Clean everything flammable off the table. Find a nice flat spot. And we'll be able to do the whole thing just from one side. I'm gonna get my uh, solder and I'll uh, let out about six or seven inches. And as I'm uh, uh, doing each joint, I'll want to come in at maybe about a 45 degree angle to the corner. 
and actually kind of get the feeling like I'm pushing the solder into the crack. I wouldn't want to uh, 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 do this joint from this angle here. I'd want to uh, ideally get it more from this angle here so I can push it in. Uh, if we uh, put too much solder, it will not only fill up the joint, but it will start to uh, fill up the inside of the pipe, making the pipe smaller in diameter. So we don't need to add more than maybe one inch of this uh, uh, wire uh, to each joint. Now let's uh, 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 light up our torch. Let's settle in first. And uh, we don't need a lot of heat. And uh, right here I have a little bit of a carbonizing flame. All right? My carbonizing flame is sticking, it's about one inch long of stick out. And uh, while I'm working, uh, doing soldering or brazing, I can use a carbonizing flame. And one of the benefits of it is that it's not as hot. And I can see if I accidentally turn these valves, I'll be able to tell that the flame has changed. When I have a neutral flame, uh, it could go oxidizing, and I might not notice it because you can't see an oxidizing flame. So it's uh, better uh, not to use a neutral flame while uh, uh, soldering and brazing. Now when I solder, I like to hold my torch like a pencil so I can keep my elbows down by my side uh, as much as possible when I'm working. And I'll start out by just heating up the whole pipe. It, it, it's winter time and so uh, it's a little bit cold and uh, so it's good to get that pipe uh, heated up. And I don't ever want the uh, the uh, carbonizing flame to touch the pipe. So uh, if it sticks out an inch, I gotta be more than an inch away. If it sticks out an inch and a quarter, I gotta be more than an inch and a quarter away. All right, let's start on this uh, corner over here. And I can see the pipe is starting to smoke. And if it's smoking, I can try to add a little bit of flux. And if it doesn't melt, right away, I can kind of uh, hit the back corner of the pipe and it will uh, uh, heat up that fitting uh, uh, more. So uh, uh, here I am and the, the solder is just going right into the joint. So this joint here is done, right? If I wanted to, I could kind of go over it and make sure that it got hot enough to go around to the bottom. Right? Sometimes uh, if we do it too quickly and the pipe doesn't have a chance to heat up enough, it'll just go on the top and not go all the way around. So we can go any direction we want. Let's uh, go uh, this direction here, which is usually the opposite direction from when I normally go. So we can add some solder in there and it's gone all the way around. We'll come over to this pipe here and uh, I try not to hit the, the solder with the, the flame of the torch. After I uh, do it, right, I can make sure everything got hot enough. And now I got a T-joint, and uh, so I got three sides that I'm gonna wanna do. And since I preheated the pipe, before I started, right, everything heats up a lot quicker as I go around uh, uh, the joint. All right, so now we can uh, move to our next uh, fitting here. All right, I don't want to melt the solder with the flame of the torch. And our last joint, we can see all the smoke coming off from the flux. And 
we're done. So uh, acetylene off first, then our oxygen. And uh, uh, solder uh, has a low melting temperature. Typically, you don't want to move things around for a little while because the solder might still be a little bit liquid, all right? So I don't move it right away. Now that uh, we got the uh, things put together, we can uh, grab this and we'll take it over uh, to the water trough for cooling down. Guys, ready? Let me do one cut. I'll dump half of it. And uh, copper uh, cools down almost instantly on contact with the water. If uh, if the pot pipe is real hot and you dunk it in the water, it'll actually anneal the pipe and make it softer than we want it to be. And so, uh, when it's real hot, we don't want to do that. So now I'm going to uh, connect up this fitting. And uh, we'll connect up an airline We'll dump this in the water, see if we got any bubbles. Pressurized. Right now, it's showing only. Ooh, it looks like only about 96. So uh, their uh, compressor usually runs up close to 120 uh, here at the college. So I'm going to dunk it in the water now, and we don't see any leaks. All right, so we did a good job. Now, a lot of times when when people are soldering on the job, they'll have a wet rag. And uh, they'll use this wet rag as they solder to kind of clean the joint uh, as they go. And not only will it uh, cause the solder to harden up uh, and solidify, uh, but it'll also do a better job at cleaning off the flux. Remember the flux is made out of acid. And so after we're done soldering, we want to remove all the acid off the outside of the pipe. If we don't, like we didn't do today, uh, the areas where we leave the flux on the pipe will cause it to corrode or rust uh, uh, later on uh, while it's in service, all right? So this black stuff that's on here right now is flux, right? And we want to get that off the pipe uh, before we're done uh, with the job. Also, the wet rag will remove these little droplets of extra solder that formed on the bottom of the pipe. And so when we wipe it with the wet rag, it takes off the extra solder, makes everything look real professional, and clean uh, 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 while we're doing it. So here is a completed uh, uh, low temperature solder pipe. 